reggae music has been able to influence the trend of music today, which it has influenced rock as well as R&B music. Where the problem comes in uh, is when either credit is not given or when uh, the, the artist who originated the music comes along with the music and is not given the same opportunity on the airwaves or wherever as the artist that was influenced by them. I think the reason for that is that we don't have major companies involved in the music because the whole thing comes under promotion and if we have a company who is interested in the music then they are going to see to it that the music is being promoted on all these stations. Independent record labels are attempting to spread the music the major labels have ignored. Recording artist Judy Mowat, The Mighty Diamonds, and Black Yohuru, all of independent labels, are headlining the Reggae Sunsplash 86 tour and selling out venues such as Radio City Music Hall. But this is still not enough. So you can establish the artist at a certain level which has happened for a number of our artists from Rita Marley, Yellow Man, uh, Bunny Whaler, and Judy Moe and so on. To get them to the next level is a tricky thing because you can't do that without airplay right now. And that's a battle we fight all the time. There is a, a dedicated set of fans in America who just loves and adore reggae. What I, what I want to see now is it to break out further from that those set of fans and uh, it's all a matter of uh, exposure marketing and all that you know that's what it's down to